What's up everybody? Welcome to another video in the Python basic series and in this video we'll be talking about functions. So a function is a block of code which only runs when you call it. So why are they used? They are used because uh, it increases code reusability, it, in it increases modularity and all the good stuff. So by, by that I mean that let's say that you have 10 lines of code and it does a specific task. Let's say that it uh, processes a number in some way and gives you an output. Now, let's say that you want to do that kind of processing several times in your code. Now, what, what you can do is you can write those 10 lines of code every time you need to uh, use that processing. But that's not very efficient. That That's going to take a lot of time if uh, it wasn't just 10 lines of code. Let's say that it was 1000 lines of code. For example, I have an example here. For example, the print function in Python. This is the code for print function in Python, which is an inbuilt function. So the code that's selected here, this uh, is responsible for printing stuff on the screen whenever you use the print statement in Python. So just assume that if, uh, just uh, think for a second, like if there wasn't a print statement, what would you do? You would have to write this entire code every time you want to print something on the screen. And it wouldn't be very feasible and nobody would like to be a programmer if that was the case. But thankfully we have functions. So instead of writing all that code, we, sim we can simply write print and we can write whatever here. And whenever we would run it, it would print something on the screen. So easy, right? Also, there's another example, like uh, for, an, uh, for another example of an inbuilt function Python, it could be input. You've already learned about this one, which is used to take an input from the user. It could be anything. So those are two inbuilt functions. Now also you can have user defined functions. For example, let's say that you want to define a function yourself. Now you define a function yourself by using the def keyword, and then you give the function a name. Let's call it a function for now. After that, you add parentheses, and inside the parentheses, you write the names of the parameters. The parameters are the input that would go into the function. So, for example, that uh, okay, let's say that I want to calculate a, the square of a number. So, if you pass a number into this function, it it is supposed to return a square of that number. So, the input would be a number. So, you can just say number here, and this is a variable. So this is the parameter. Uh, after this, you would give a colon, and then there would be an indented block. And here, you would write functions body, whatever you want to do within the function. So here, let's say that you want to calculate number uh, multiplied by number, and you want to return that. Now a function has return value by saying return, and then whatever value you want to return. A function it does not always have to. Um, a value it's not necessary but for now we are going to return something okay now a function can be used by saying you write the function's name you open parentheses and then you pass in parameters if any so the number of parameters here can be any it could be it could be 0 it could be 10 it could be 20 anything so let's say that you wanted two parameters you would just enter a comma and you would be like number two and let's say that there was another uh, let's say a string or something so you can say string anything it, it's just name right for now we are only passing one parameter and we want to square the number that we are passing so let's say that we want to calculate square root of 5 we would say function 5 and if we run that we we'll see that we are getting 25 here which is the output so that means that uh, this function is being called and it is passing 5 as the parameter and it is doing this calculation and then it is returning that value here, right? So that's how a function basically works. Let's make another uh, function. We would say def and let's make it multiply two numbers and divide it by the sum of two numbers. So let's just give it a name function two or function second, anything is valid. You could say num one, num two, you would give a colon, you would say num1 multiplied by num2, and then you want to divide this whole thing by num1 plus num2, and you want to return that. So you would say return num1 num2, num1 
this whole thing <laughs> okay you would say function second and let's say that you want to pass in two comma three and you, you run that you you're getting a 1.2 here that means you're doing two times three which is six divided by five so six divided by five that's 1.2 and that's what we are getting here it, it's working perfect also uh, there are a whole lot of other things like uh, for example let's say that you don't want to return anything you just want to print it right here so you can simply say print this and if you would run this you would still get the same thing what's the difference well, in the previous case it was returning a value meaning that if you let's change it back and if you want to print this out you would get a 1.2 here right but if you would change this to print and now if you run this you can see that you're also getting a none printed on the screen here and why is that because you're not your function is not returning anything so when we do function underscore second two comma three it goes here and it uh, evaluates whatever code is written inside so it prints this on the screen but since the function is not returning a value it returns none by default so since we have two print statements here it's printing 1.2 first because of the function and since it has to return since uh, uh, we have to print the value returned by the function it prints none here which is uh, the default return whenever you don't return anything so that's a special type in C you know it by null if you don't know C then it's just something that means like nothing like it's not returning anything that's it right null void <laughs> so that's all about functions for now since it's a basic course we wouldn't be going into too much detail but uh, these are the basics anyway and in future videos in another series maybe in an intermediate series we, we would be going into the depth and we would be talking a lot more about functions and we'll see how yeah you can do all sorts of other uh, all sorts of different things with functions so but for now that's it and thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.